My name is Elise Anzini. I'm the secretary of the Philadelphia Sketch Club, and I've manned the door for every gala for the last 10 years. And I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to meet our honored guest tonight. We've put this off for a few years now, so I'm really happy to be here. We got the three J's tonight, right? We got James Too Good, mm -hmm. Jane Golden, yes, and, and John Ennis. Hey, good evening. I'm Ed Pluchenik. I am a member of the Sketch Club's board. Uh, so I'm looking forward to being here as a part of this. Uh, you know, as you may know, this uh, this gala event has been postponed because of the pandemic. So looking forward to finally seeing it come to fruition, meeting our honored guests and all of our fellow artists together here in person. White, it kind of it. You know, it worked. I'll show it to you later. I have it done. Yeah, I, I just keep shifting between Mars black and ivory black because uh, they're very different. You know, I don't. I mean, use, the, uh, the Mars black is really powerful. It's um, it's not as black. Is it shiny? But it's not as shiny. But it but it, it has you can it, it covers so much better. My name is John Ennis. I'm being honored tonight with uh, the Sketch Club's Medal of Honor, and um, really happy to be um, here. What is your love affair with art? I mean, as far as this is with the Sketch Club and the Academy and your career as as an as an artist in matter. Well, um, when I was a when I was a kid, I was laying on a hill in front of my house, looking at clouds in the sky big cumulus clouds bashing into each other and I just couldn't get over how beautiful that was and I think that was really the, my first visual inspiration uh, but I started taking an interest in drawing as early as fifth grade and uh, that continued every year of my life. I was uh, taking a private art lessons in high school and when I graduated high school my parents told me if I wanted to go to art school I could do it and, and I did. Wonderful and now you have this wonderful medal there's another notch on your belt right here. So. Yeah thank you it's been a rewarding uh, life uh, I've had two really great careers in art and uh, very satisfied I chose this profession. Basically painting since I was a child and I went uh, to school at the Pennsylvania Academy where I now teach and I became a acquainted with the Philadelphia Sketch Club, even as a student, and being the oldest art uh, organization, art club in the United States, I had learned about it years and years ago, and have been associated with the uh, Sketch Club now for 30 or 40 years, I lose track of time. I've of course known about this award, and uh, some of my friends have also received this award, and it's, it's quite an honor to... Um, to get it myself. I know John and myself are very honored to get it. I've spoken to Jane about it, but I'm sure she is as well. I'm thrilled to be able to uh, accept this award. You got the three J's this year. Anyway, this is true. <laughs> yeah, you got John, John James, and, and, and you know, Jane. Jane. Yeah. yeah. It's been a, a lifelong, um, you know, they, they say if you, if you love what you do, you never work a day in your life, and that's how I feel about it. Now, I, I haven't had a chance to uh, to say hi to John Ennis yet, because he's so popular and busy, he's holding court the whole night, but I'll say it now. Hi, John, how you doing? It's so nice to see you. <laughs> uh, our gallery manager, Kiwi Minzola. Kiwi's uh, probably been communicating with a lot of people here in this room. Michael's actually playing quite an important role, and I think our honorees will be very glad that Michael's here, because he's taller than I am, and the first time I ever tried to present a medal was to Tony Off. And I held it up and bonked him right in the forehead. 
And uh, I don't want to do that to anyone else. So Michael's very good at making sure the medals are presented without uh, damaging anyone. And it always looks to me like you were like a folk group from the 1960s. <laughs> and it was your greatest hits album cover, you know, John, James, and Jane. Yeah. <laughs> so, so if you want to come around to the side. Uh, hello, everybody. I'm going to say that John is someone that I've known for so many years. If you look at the portrait work that John did when he was teaching along with me at Moore, and they would say, I think he's working digitally. <laughs> and I knew John when he was working digitally, and I would have to say, no, no, he's doing it really with the real deal. A few words. No, go right ahead. Okay. Well, I just want to say what a great honor it is to be here and accept this award. It's a long line of terrific artists who have this award, and I'm humbled and honored to be accepting it tonight. Um, I love the sketchbook. I've had many a good night here. I've met a lot of great friends here, and I think this is a great institution, and the more we can support it, the better for all of us. The power vested in us by the Philadelphia Sketch Club and now I'm here with this another. <laughs> heard about almost mythically when I first moved here to Philadelphia and when I see these murals and one of the first murals I ever saw was the one that's just around the corner here and I got to see you speak in front of it. I think it was the unveiling that evening in the parking lot. It was uh, 1999 and, um, and again I just could see you with a spotlight on you and then I would hear more stories. It was just a mythical stature of Jane Goldman. Um, I just love the sketch club. Um, I love what it does and I think that as a city, one of the things we often say is that we're really glad that artists move here from New York and there's, you know, housing is affordable, but we also have to nurture and support our artists if we want them to stay. The arts have a real power, power in our city and in our world. And if you close your eyes for a moment and you think about what Philly would be without the thousands of murals or, the pu or pu public sculpture or theater or opera or the orchestra or the small arts nonprofits, it's sort of chilling. Um, the arts humanize us. They make our city sing. And we have to be committed to supporting the arts and to supporting places like the Sketch Club. And we do that by being tenacious and vigilant and just saying that we are going to make sure that Philadelphia is a place that lifts up and shines a light on culture because it matters every day, every day at Mural Arts. I have the privilege of seeing how art changes individual lives, impacts communities, and by extension, think about it, there is a huge impact on the civic life of this city. This city is indeed an outdoor museum, but it is one that has real meaning and resonance. With we have an informal motto at Mural Arts, and that motto is that art ignites change. And when I say that, I say that not just on behalf of Mural Arts, but on behalf of everyone, everyone who is involved. I want to acknowledge Akil Robertson, who is here for Mural Arts. Thank you, Jane third honoree tonight and also it's someone that I look at as one of the giants of, of art in my my estimation because I see the work that James does and I always hope someday to be able to attain to something that would be similar to what James does. And often when I'm painting in my studio I always think like I got boy I gotta be as good as James is good. You, you wanna say a few much. words? Well, thank you very much for those kind words. You know, I, I discovered the Sketch Club as a student at the Pennsylvania Academy of the Fine Arts. And as a student, I fell in love with the Philadelphia art scene. I was inspired by the, the work that was being done by these great luminaries of Philadelphia art who have been members of the Philadelphia Sketch Club. And in fact, we've been talking with uh, a couple people who have been here, or who are here tonight about the fact that this is the location where we are standing, where N.C. Wyatt had his first solo show. Sure, we'll have a tremendous amount of fun. I'm looking for everybody to have a great evening.
looking for everybody to uh, reach deep and uh, bid uh, after a lot of great artworks. There's an opportunity to walk away with a number of really interesting works to eat and people are having a lot of fun and I think that will hopefully spill over in tonight's uh, event. So, with no further ado, we're going to open the bidding conservatively here with a Mo Brooker painting. Started off looking for near $200, fairway $1,000. Thousand uh, dollars. This is entitled King's House Salisbury, watercolorist whose awards include the Allied Artists of America, Gold Medal of Honor. He has had over 40 solo exhibitions uh, to include the uh, Pennsylvania Academy of Fine Arts and Woodmere, uh, an author as well um, at looking for $200. Looking for $200. $200 I have immediately. Yeah. Three hundred, eight hundred dollars. Back in nine, We've got a bidding war here. Nine hundred dollars. Fifteen one. <laughs> Fifteen. I'll, I'll take fifteen five. Fifteen. Fifteen's with you. Fifteen. Oh. Congratulations, fifteen one artist who specializes in portraits as well as genre and landscape scenes. Uh, his uh, work is in many institutional collections. Great painting. Beautifully done. 200. 200 I have immediately here on my left. Sold $400. Congratulations. A lot of, uh, lot of uh, good looking watercolors here tonight. Uh, this is, uh, don't need to tell you all, it's Independence Hall, of course. 20 by 26 inches. Uh, Dori Oshavo. Uh, Dori is a graduate of the University of the Arts. The big, the big uh, glass piece is reflecting a lot of the overhead lights here. For Philadelphia, you can't get a much better theme. You can't get a much more iconic theme. Fifty dollars, no money at all. Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. Lovely word. Fifty dollars I have. One seventy-five straight ahead. All done at one seventy-five. Your bid at one seventy-five. Fair warning. All done. So one seventy-five. Congratulations. A prolific uh, illustrator as well. So, with no further ado. Looking to open this at uh, 100, 125. Looking for 125. 125. 125. 125. 125. Thank you. Fair warning. 175 is your bid, sir. All done. 175. Fair warning. All done. Selling. Sold. 175. So this is uh, this is an impressive watercolor by uh, Dominic De Stefano, uh, entitled uh, Gloucester Harbor. It's a, uh, it's a watercolor, it measures 21 by 29 inches. 50 I have, 50 I have, 50 I have. You go to 60, but I'm looking for, looking for 70, $300, and it's yours. So, $300. This is another uh, lovely watercolor. Uh, this is by Carl Weber, certainly uh, locally known and loved, Carl Weber. Sheep and Apple Blossoms, it's $50. Gentlemen's bid at fifty dollars on my left. Fifty dollars. Seventy-five. Two fifty with you at two fifty. Fairway selling two hundred and fifty dollars. Hold on. Anthony Michael Ottorino. Uh, it's entitled Betsy's Garden Study. It's fifty dollars. Fifty. Fifty dollars in back. Fifty dollars I have in back. Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. Hundred dollars. Sure. Three hundred dollars. Fairway. Hold on. In time, 325. We're not done yet. 325. Gentlemen's bid at 425. Hold on. Fair warning. Give you a moment to think about it. Have you at 425? You may regret it if you don't. Okay. We'll, take, we'll take a moment. I have you at 425. 425 going once. 450. 450. There you go. Don't let it get away. 450. Give you the same opportunity. Four hundred and fifty dollars with the lady. Looking for four seventy-five if you want in. Four fifty with the lady. Once, twice. Ladies bid at four fifty. All done. Selling four fifty to the lady. All done. This is the uh, final opportunity uh, to walk away with the uh, terrific artwork uh, tonight. It is uh, well. What could be more? What could, what, what could be a better subject tonight than Philadelphia Sketch Club basement? Uh, the Grub Club uh, by T. Norman Mansell uh, used a variety of fine art practices such as painting and in this case etching uh, to inspire his architectural plans. So, so lovely. The ship up here in the window and the there is above the 
Oh my goodness. So, uh, is that life imitates art or art imitates life? I'm not sure. Well, I, 60 hours. All right, we're at 60 hours. 550. So. Uh, my name is Richard Harrington. I'm the uh, president of the Philadelphia Sketch Club. I love the people that are also members of the Sketch Club, and I love the history of the Sketch Club. When you come to the Sketch Club, uh, that's what you get. You get to be part of history. Bill is really good at finding pieces that have some type of connection to the club, and I love hearing about it, and I just like seeing those pieces go to members that are really, truly going to appreciate them, even other people that aren't members, but they're just art lovers and they get that from the club. Two of them I've known for quite a while and I'm actually honored that they think of me as one of their peers. But they are really uh, tremendous. Yeah, John and, and James I've known for quite a bit. John is a professional illustrator. I knew him way back in the 1990s when we were both members of the Society of Illustrators in New York. Nice. Then I had the pleasure of moving here and John lives very close to me. James's work, I read his books before I met him in person, and I met him through the Sketch Club here. And you heard me about Jane. Jane is like a mythical figure. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And the first time I saw her, she was kind of bathed in white light, presenting a, one of these tremendous murals. And I had just moved to Philadelphia, and I was just in awe. And when I asked her to, to come here a couple years ago, I met her at a, a more event, and I asked her if she would consider being an honoree here, and immediately she said yes. Hi, my name is Bill Patterson. Uh, I've been a member of the Philadelphia Sketch Club since the early 1990s. Uh, I served as president for a period of time and currently the treasurer of the Sketch Club. And, uh, I also uh, participate in chairing the uh, annual gala fundraising effort. So how was the auction tonight? What do you think? I mean, how did I think the auction went very well. We, we sold off uh, uh, 10 items. Uh, Wonderful. Uh, spirited bidding from the audience. Uh, and uh, I think uh, we added to the success of the gala by uh, having the uh, auctioneer not only just present what their work was, but also they said a few words about the uh, history of the individual who did the artwork. Wonderful. And what do you think of the food? Wasn't that catering great? Yes, we uh, had a good caterer uh, connected with the uh, U Tavern here in Mac Street, so they're our neighbor and we get along well with them.